Hey guys, this is Naveen here. Welcome back to Naveen Automation Labs. So, one more uh, topic with respect to Lombok we are going to cover today. In the last session, we have uh, seen that you can avoid a lot of boilerplate code here. You can see that you can create your own automatic deconstructor equals and hash code, getter, setter, and uh, two string method, and all such things you can create it and you can directly call it and you can create the constructor with passing some number of arguments over there automatically you will get and set over there like that then there is one more annotation that is called at the rate a builder annotation which will be using the builder pattern internally and then uh, uh, you can apply at three level you can apply at class level constructor level and the method level and then it will help you uh, to uh, design your uh, class objects uh, on the basis of what kind of requirement you have what kind of variables that you want to introduce while creating the object. So let's see how to use at the rate builder annotation, which is actually coming from Lombok library. So I'll do one thing in this particular SRC main Java, I'm going to create a separate package. And let's see, this is my package name com dot QA dot. Let's see my package name is builder package. In this particular builder package, I'm going to create a class over here. For example, let's see my class name is the user class. And uh, in this particular user class, I want to maintain a couple of uh, uh, variables. For example, let's see string name. And then I want to maintain uh, its uh, age. That's it. Okay. And uh, on top of the class, I just want to maintain some getters. So I simply write at the rate a getter over here. And then I'll be maintaining one at the rate a builder annotation also. And they both are coming from Lombok. So you can see that getter and builder getting imported from Lombok right and if you really want to create the constructor that also you can create that you can simply pass the add the rate all argument constructor also you can pass it now let's uh, test this particular user and uh, let's see how exactly add the rate builder is working so let's create a test class over here or test user class and having the main method and click on finish in this particular test user class main method, what exactly I'm going to do, I'm going to create the object of user class. So how do we create that? You simply write user dot and then you will get a method over here, user dot builder. Right. So you don't need to create any new keyword over here. You simply write user dot builder dot and then which value that you want to pass. So we have two values, right? Name. So let's see name as I'm passing Tom here dot age that you can pass age is let's see 25 that you can pass it like that so you simply write user dot builder dot name and dot age and then simple write dot build that's it okay so when you create this particular dot build it will create one instance see if you mouse over on build it's saying i'll give you one user class object over here so can i store inside the user class reference let's see user class reference u1 is equal to this so what exactly we have done, we have used the concept of builder pattern. And then what exactly we are doing, we are assigning the value for name and age with Tom and 25 and then creating a new instance and then storing with this reference U1. Now, if you really want to test this particular feature, let's see system.out.println. I just want to print U1 dot. Now I just want to get their value. So get name plus with the space and U1 dot get age. So whatever the name and age that you were passing, Tom and 25, we should be getting the same values. So you right click on it and simple run as Java application. And you will see, okay, Tom and 25 getting printed over here like that. Awesome. So likewise, you can create a builder chain over here, just like we do it in the builder pattern. And then uh, just simple use whatever the variable that you want to use name and age, and then uh, build it and then start using it. So let's create one more example over here. For example, I want to say that, okay, user dot a builder dot, and I just want to give name name is equal to let's see Naveen fine. And then I simple write dot build over here. I don't want to give any, um, any age over here. So let's see, this is my user number U2 that I have created fine. So what exactly I'll be getting for user U2 in this case. So let's see, I'll just print with U2 dot get name and U2 dot get age. So for get name, I should be getting a Naveen. And for age, I'm not passing anything for age. So I should be getting the default value of age is zero because age is integer type. So I'll be getting default value of age is zero. Fine. 
now let's create one more user here with the u3 so this time i'm creating let's say u3 user and i'm not giving anything no name and nothing can i use user.builder.build let's see i can use it but when i try to get its username and uh, age get name and get uh, age u3.get name and u3.get age in that case see i'm not passing anything over here so in this case let's see what exactly i'm getting i'm getting a get name is null and get is zero so i'll be start getting the default value of get name is what see get name is what get name is a string name is a string actually so it will give you the default value of name that is a string null and age is equal to zero in that case so these are the three varieties of users i can create and then it's up to you how exactly you want to use that so it will help me a lot okay to design the objects over here with the respective class variables fine so this is the first way second way is that second option is that you can use add the rate builder for the constructor also at the constructor level also so i'll do one thing let me create another class over here for example let's say i'm going to create a class and this class is person class and uh, click on finish and let's see this person is having once again some uh, this time let's see name and this person is having integer let's see age once again let it be like that or you can create any uh, variables that you want to create that that it's up to you and for example let's see i'm going to create some more that this person is active or not okay so this person is active or not but it should be a boolean so let me write with a boolean and uh, i simple write that what is the role of this person so i'll simple say let's see this is my again string role admin role or whatever fine then what exactly i'm going to do that i'm going to create a constructor of this class and i can maintain some at the rate getter also so let's maintain some at the rate getter and then deliberately i'm writing a constructor over here constructor person but in this particular constructor i'm just using only two values which is let's see name and uh, name and age so i simple pass a string name uh, comma integer age okay and this is capital p this is the constructor that i have created and then i'm using this dot a uh, name okay is equal to name and this dot age is equal to age okay and then in that case and that's it so this is the constructor i have created and at the constructor level you simple write at the rate builder option here okay you can write this at the rate builder with bracket also that also it is allowed you can write it now this at the rate builder is actually coming from lombok you can see it over here now let's uh, test this particular feature so i'll again go to my test user class over here and this time let's see for test user see this carefully what exactly i'm going to do that i'm going to use with person class so person dot a builder i'll be using it so when i use person dot builder dot i can provide the respective value only for age and only for c name although you can say that uh, in person we have other variables also is active and role why it is not showing the option for is active and role see the moment i write it's saying only for age and only for name it's not showing for role and it's not showing for is active why because i have applied at the red builder at the constructor level and inside this constructor i'm using only name and age so hence while creating the object also only name and age i can pass i cannot pass other values over here so in this case if you really want to restrict your constructor in that way that also you can do that so let's assign some way uh, let's see name i'm saying okay name is equal to peter and let's see dot age age is equal to 30 fine and then simple write dot build over here and then this dot build will give you what it will give you person class object so i'll do one thing i'll store inside a person p1 over here and then if i write system dot out dot println let's see same statement i'm writing with p1 dot a get name and uh, p1 dot get age so what exactly i'll be getting i should get peter and 30 but along with that if i'm passing some other value for example i'm passing sorry i'm getting uh, its role and then i'm checking that okay p1 is active or not so while creating the object we were just passing peter and 30 but uh, let's see when we are fetching the value with the help of getters is active or get role let's see what exactly we are getting here so in this case i'll be getting null and false 
null means the role is null the default value of a string and is active default value is boolean is what default value for boolean is false so that's why we are getting false over here so at the constructor level also you can define your add rate builder and then you can create multiple constructors and then define accordingly add the rate builder for which variable uh, that you want to participate uh, you want to uh, make it participate and then only for those variables you can create the object with the help of builder so this is at the constructor level you can do that then at the rate builder you can use at method level also so let's do one thing i'll create a separate class i don't want to mix them up otherwise you will be confused now let's create another class over here this time i'm going to create let's see customer class and in this particular customer class again let's see i'm maintaining a couple of uh, uh, couple of things first of all let's see i simple say let's see name age customer is active or not and uh, let's take some more so name age is active and uh, role or let's see instead of role i can simple say customer is uh, from which city fine and then i'm going to create a constructor of this class so right i'll do one thing constructor with the uh, all the variables so i simple say that uh, source and generate constructors using fields and click on generate remove the super keyword right now it's no use okay now this is what i have created constructor i have created now i'm going to create a method here see this method and this method let's say i'm going to make it a static and uh, i simple say that my method name is uh, for example let's see um create instance method fine this method is used to create the instance and this method says okay fine if we really want to create the instance then on what basis you want to create the instance you give me those parameters so i simple say okay fine then uh, you take name comma integer age only on those basis you create the instance instance means you create the object of this class and i simple say okay fine then i'm going to return what return new and then i'm going to create the object of this particular class so i simple say customer and uh, i simple say okay whatever the name and age that you are passing but is active i'll be passing from my side is active is that okay customer is true always and uh, customer city is always let's see london like that right so and then return new so instead of void what should i write i have to write customer over here because we are returning the object of this class so see this carefully i simple apply at the rate builder uh, annotation here fine this at the rate builder annotation that i have applied and then what exactly i'm saying i want to create the object of this class on the basis of name and age okay so when i'm calling this particular method name and age i'll be passing from my side through the builder and then true and london will always be there it's a default value will always be there like that fine so let's see how to test this particular feature so again i'll go to test user and this is my third feature at the method level so what exactly i'm going to do that my uh, this is my customer class dot builder i'll be using it and then i'll be passing the value for example name and let's see this time i'm passing lisa and i simple say dot age age is let's see again 40 and then simple dot build that's it and then it will give you what build will give you customer class object so i simple store inside the customer c1 which is equal to this get all the values with c1 c1 dot get name okay i think in customer class yeah we have to maintain one getter also so i simple write at the rate a getter annotation and import that okay perfect now so customer c will equal to this so while creating the object with the help of builder i'm passing only lisa and 40 fine so what will happen now this builder is actually what this builder is actually applied over here it means this method will be called i don't need to call this method explicitly okay internally this method will be called and i'm passing name and age over here see this i'm passing name and age lisa and 40 so this builder method will be called name and age is lisa and 40 and same lisa and 40 okay will be given to the constructor and uh, name is equal to lisa and 40 is active is true and city is equal to london that is a default value i'm passing so from the user side i'm just passing the name and age and the same values will be given to your class variables with the help of this keyword 
and then when I try to fetch them, I should be able to get all the values. So let's run it and let's see. So you can see awesome Lisa 40 London and true. Right guys. So likewise, you can create the builder at the method level also. This is what exactly we have done it over here. So these are the three levels you can introduce and uh, see boilerplate code that we have avoided here. That's amazingly good. And uh, it's a really good utility. Start using it in your framework or in your, especially in the API framework that you really want to use that. And then uh, let me know if you have any issues with that. Thank you so much guys. Please subscribe to the channel if you're liking this particular session. There are more and more videos are coming on this particular channel on different topics. And uh, till then take care. I'll see you in the next video.